Okay, welcome to the fifth part of this upgrading the fuel system. I know this has been lengthy series, but I wanted to cover every detail. So, of course, this is the last part, and in which part I will be telling how to use your OEM stock fuel rail instead of expensive after market fuel rail like AEM or the K2 etc. and save 200 or 300 dollars and just use your stock fuel rail K series or else and make it a return fuel system okay so let's get to it so this is the extra K series rail I have and this is my stock K series rail not necessary that you uh, have two fuel rails of the K series uh, I had one spare so that's why uh, it saved me time for trial and error okay I was placing the second fuel rail above the uh, OEM one and and the fitment was easy you will see in the video but if you have stock fuel rail just remove that and just modify it and install it back that will also work okay no need to have two K series fuel rails or any modern of the fuel rails okay just your OEM one will suffice and I'll be now we will be converting that into the different type of return system before it is using uh, this is the fuel regulator and this is the return going through here okay so the pressure in the fuel rail is equivalent to the pressure in the fuel regulator so that's the system but now we are going with and now we'll be trying conventional setup in out from um, out into the regulator and back into the fuel tank that conventional system also being used in the crz okay that turbo one uh, this is the fuel rail i bought from the junkyard basically these two uh, size should be the 5 by 16 you can uh, place them ahead into junkyard just bring with you this oem fuel rail and just search for the fuel rail and you will get something and this is from the older honda city the model 2003 4 5 and uh, okay so now uh, i think the place would be right would be not this because this is again the return line would be hitting the engine block so i'll be choosing this for my regulator because uh, in uh, with that mount i can uh, make a bracket for the support so since the distance is more so i'll be using more of the length and i am trying to unbend it and it's very easy to unbend it with even the hands okay look at that so I am now trying to unbend this one, last band and then I will try to further length it then we will weld it here not in this fuel rail but in this one okay since both are same when I say both are same I mean the end where the fittings goes that is equal diameter but the newer fit newer engine do have uh, AN4 equivalent fuel system so those have narrower diameter fuel rail endings but the older Hondas, for example, I told you already, and K series, they have the uh, wider, uh, thicker diameter fuel rail uh, where the fitting will go in. Okay, so they are uh, equal to AN6 equivalent, so that they are bigger. And another tip is, uh, if you don't have spare fuel rail, just uh, take the fitting with you to the junk chart and on whichever fuel rail that fitting fits that will be that will work for you so that will be our system okay like that like that okay and uh, this is i think iron made because look at that if i this is the magnet look this is the magnet let me get the strong one okay so let's see okay so it is sticking very hard and look at that so this is iron okay so welding it will be easy this is not nickel or something like that this is plain iron okay so welding it will be easy so i have unbent with the hands and look at that it's almost straight and there is slightly indentations like here but it does not matter because the return is very small amount so it, it doesn't matter it will not restrict it it's enough okay so now i'll be cutting it almost here then i will 
according to my regulator for the shortened rate but i want to get rid of this thing because this is hindering okay so now i will cut it this and please make sure there is no fuel or fumes in it in fuel rail okay because fumes are more dangerous the fuel just burns but fumes they bang okay so when you cut it there will be lot of uh, uh, lot of sparks so it's better you put water in it just remove the injector put it under the water tab and it's better it's all water filled in it okay then we will cut it here okay so i have cut it from here now i'll be removing my fpr from here and let's try fitting that here okay and when i'm satisfied i'll further shorten it i think and then we will weld it to our spare k series fuel rail okay guys so the fittings are here the fitting will be fit into the k series fuel rail this is 5 by 16 equivalent but this is these are ka ef5 fittings okay and this is an6 uh, female to n6 female and this will connect to this fitting and here will be my fuel pressure regulator which is right now here but i told you because it is uh, near the turbo so for a piece of mind i am shifting it to here okay this is the fitting we cut off do the junkyard uh, fuel rail and i cut it long so that i cut it short after i make a place for where to place my fuel regulator so i i think here will be suitable place it is away from fuel belt away from any of the heat sources so after we fit the location then i'll just get it welded here make a small hole and we will get it welded then we will thoroughly clean it up any of the metal shaving which will be after we make a hole in it so let's see first we will fit these fittings in this so that we will make the length equal so the fitting has been done let's place it here and see where our fuel regulator fits okay so if i set it to this height then it is you know almost touching so i have to cut it short let's see i think there i will cut it now the fuel regulator will sit round here okay but the height the return line will be hitting my abs module so i have to lift it somehow oh, okay i have to place it here something and look at that that almost 1 inch i have to lift it from here so what i will do is i'll make a s shape okay this was uh, bent already i straightened it out but now i will again bend it it's very easy just with a few pliers or plus it can be bent okay so i will now bend it in s shape so that when it is welded it is slightly at the height okay not the fuel at fuel rail level but slightly at height let's bend it and show you again so after many trial and errors this will be the angle i will cut this from here and we will almost weld it with a mm, 25 degree let's say and it will be just here okay it will be just where we want it okay okay with stepper bill let's make a bigger hole i have already made a small hole let's make it bigger almost equivalent to the fitting we will be fitting here okay Okay, I think that should do it. Yeah, fitting over here. Let's cut it with a cutter. Okay. Okay, so cut has been made. Make sure you clear all the metal shaping inside. And this is the fuel rail cut. This is the other end, and it will be going like this. And this will be welded. Okay, so almost. this will be welded near this angle once welded i'll thoroughly clean inside of this with a gasoline so that nothing remains inside no metal shaving etc etc 
since the fuel there was uh, i took from an older engine so it was uh, very much dirty inside after uh, cleaning it up with some injector clinic lot of gunk and uh, look at that all the stuff came out but now it's clean inside and it's ready to be fitted okay guys everything has been tightened buttoned up let me show you inside and out our feed line our return line our evap line which we have routed in the back side of the car into the open air and this is the honda oem fitting i am not sure but i traced it out and it led to the fuel tank uh, lid okay now outside we passed our line feed line is coming all the way here this one and that is the our return line that bluish and uh, over that uh, white on sleeve and this was actually the evap line so i uh, routed evap and the back of the car behind this rear tire and this is the evap line we are using a return line if you are wondering about the lines and please watch the previous part for the lines how i passed them and which diameter and which line which shield you should open and how to pass them okay so this is going into the fuel rail and stock fuel rail modified and here is the return line and here fuel pressure regulator i know i overdid it with the with honda bond but i will uh, black uh, color it and it will look good and this is the return line although the fittings used the o ring based and uh, they uh, if they are not in excessive heat they don't expand and then uh, this honda bond is not necessary but since uh, uh, before that this fuel regulator you saw uh, was near the turbo so one fitting and the o ring expanded and fuel was leaking from there so that's why precautionary i applied the jib, uh, yeah, this bond honda bond around those o rings always remember these uh, fuel regulators etc these use these o ring based fittings and if they use these these if uh, subjected to excessive heat they expand and the fuel leaks so keep in mind that factor and place your fuel regulator away from heat although this was the a an line this was u shape i unbend it using two pipes i showed in uh, previously and this is the bar fitting i applied it over here okay so this is not the actually this is a an line but per using as a bar bar line so this is the return line and fuel pressure uh, pressure sensor fitted here the wiring has been done this is the vacuum source coming into the fuel pressure regulator here so time to start up the car and see if if anything does not leak then just uh, close everything up okay let's start the car okay let's get it over with let's start check for any leaks and okay inside the car Ignition on. Nothing. Okay. All good here. Let's quickly run outside and check. Okay. 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 nice that's also nice good 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 nothing here let's check this thing out okay nothing nothing and absolutely no leaks here so that complete this video about upgrading honda fuel system to a return fuel system we did it with all the three methods fuel pressure regulator here and return from here and the conventional method coming here and going back here using evap evap routing on the back so now i think nothing has left hope you like the video subscribe and give a thumbs up